Hey folks, it's Keith Beardsley, atori01.com, here today with another video blog, looking once again at the RCMP Commissioner and Bill Blair, and the pressure that was being exerted by the Trudeau government. Now what's really interesting is who's going to blink first? It could be Trudeau, highly unlikely. His first option will be to lie. We've seen that before with uh, Jody Wilson-Raybow and, and others. So this will be the, his first defense will be to lie and continue lying until he hopes the story dies. Bill Blair could possibly blink. It's his career on the line. Um, again, he's probably going to just sit back and w wait to see what the government's going to do. The RCMP commissioner, of course, uh, she's got problems here and she has never really clarified whether or not she passed on the pressure, if you want to call it that, from the Trudeau government. So she may actually come out with a new statement. I think that might actually be possible as more stuff starts to unravel. And we've already seen a second person come out and jump to the defense of Superintendent Campbell and against the uh, RCMP commissioner and what she was saying and uh, how she's conducted herself. How many others were on that call who made notes? How many others were on that call that might want to talk on background and remain anonymous to the, uh, some of the media. So this story has legs, it's gonna to continue to go. So Trudeau's options, number one, lie. He does that anyway, so that's sort of the immediate fallback commission. Number two, he can move Blair. You know, why not move him into passports and passports into Blair's position? They're both useless ministers. So it would be an easy exchange. No one wins, no one loses, they both get losers. The other possibility is that, um, you know, just one of them goes. Uh, who would go? Hard to remove an RCMP commissioner. Not that difficult to remove a minister who's causing you problems. So let's see, who blinks first? I still say it'll be a cabinet shuffle, a miniature one. Blair shuffled to one position, the one in passport shuffled to another position. Why? Because once a new minister is in there, all those old questions are that the media might want, that the conservatives might want to ask them, well, NDP, we know they're not going to do much of anything. But then that minister has a new answer. I just took over the job. You know, I'm fixing things. So it doesn't matter. And it's very hard for uh, the opposition to get, you know, their teeth into a new minister. So there you go. Keith Beardsley, atory01.com, wishing you a great day.